All right, so we got, are there any morally good factions in Warhammer 40k? Um, obviously, there's one, and there's only one. It's the great one. It's actually the best faction in Warhammer. It's called the Salamanders. Uh, let's get the video. G'day, guys and gal. What up, Major Kill? said that there are no good guys in Warhammer 40k. There are, though. Just lesser degrees of evil. Yes, the Imperium can take the moral high ground against the faction that likes eating babies whilst praising their literal demon gods of hell. But so could Hitler, and I wouldn't call that dude a paragon oh, of morality and ethics. Oh, oh, excuse the reality me? is that benevolence within Warhammer is incredibly rare, with pretty much every faction committing rare. war crimes more than I commit self-molestation. Whoa! Does doing a few bad things you commit what? to disqualify you from being overall good. Is necessary evil actually the good guy thing to do? If your nature is destruction, can you even be called evil? Today we'll do some soul searching, diving into each faction of 40k to discover if they can be considered good. We will look at some characters and elements within each faction that could qualify for good, then make an overall assessment to uncover if there is a single 40k faction that could genuinely be considered to be the good guys. It is. Well, There's it one. Listen, I don't care what you say, bro. It'd be like, oh, well, no, no, well, technically, you know, they're burning people with lava. First of all, as a Warhammer new booty, I had to pick, you know, one faction. And to be honest with you, I legit picked like the, like, like the actual uh, Superman of warhammer 40k and that's actually the salamanders um they are the good guys i don't care what you say um they're defending the people bro they actually like give hugs to the people bro they're, they are the good guys bro you and you can't convince me otherwise i'm gonna be honest with you you really can't ranking each faction based on how good they are let's get into it let's get into it here we go man shout out to major kill going first into the imperium because they make gw the most amount of money the issue about okay. analyzing the Imperium's moral <laughs> compass is that there are so many sub-factions within it that have wildly different ethics. For example, the Custodes can genuinely be considered to be the good guys. They reject the extreme fanaticism that plagues the Imperium and causes so much harm, even at one point saving a woman who was about to get sacrificed, then telling the sisters of battle who wanted to sacrifice the poor woman to the Emperor to fuck off. One of the Custodes even tore off his cloak and wrapped the poor woman in it because she was cold. Oh, that's the nice. To shit themselves because the custody's cloak is probably worth more than Tesla. Cruel or sadistic. Killing Here we go. only because it's their duty and not because they Sorry, get I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. The things they do kill also very much deserve to die. They are loyal, honest, hardworking, and selfless. No. Most certainly the good guys. All On the right. flip side, we have hive worlds where corruption, pollution, and inequality run rampant. This horrific quality of life in Hive Worlds is actually encouraged by the Imperium due to it providing more resources and manpower to throw into the meat grinder. The Imperium is harsh and cold. Where's the Salamanders? Joke, They're number one. Enslave or even execute entire worlds just because someone tried to fuck their pet octopus. Not to mention, servitors are extremely common, a fate worse than death. Some space Excuse me? will care for basic humans and be morally great, like the Salamanders. Other chapters will yeah, be shit yeah. and begin eating the people they're supposed to protect, like the Flesh Terrors. The Sisters of Battle are generally great. Whoa, whoa that's, all, that's the only compliment you're giving to the Salamanders? That's it? Whoa, no, 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 no. See, whenever you mention the Salamanders, you're supposed to glaze them. I want a full novel of, of compliments. What are we doing? There is no, oh, you know, sneak in their name, whatever, get everybody hyped up. Like, because obviously, like, you know, the Salamanders, they're like the most popular and most loved, you know, faction uh, in this entire game. Like, there's no sneak in their name, and the brother's kind of like clickbaiting in a way, bro. Whenever you mention their name, I want an entire William Shakespeare novel of compliments to, uh, to them, bro. What are you doing? There is no mentioning their name and just like dipping. At that point, bro, you're using us, bro. What, what, like, what are we talking about? Turning the tide of battle. How dare you? The weak. However, their fanaticism can often result in them burning innocent people alive. The existence of the Inquisition makes it even more challenging. Hito, what is he talking Some about? Some Inquisitors are awesome, treating people well and saving countless lives, like Inquisitor Eisenhorn, whilst other Inquisitors are fucked in the head. Oh, wow. Letting their massive egos result in the death of billions of innocent Imperial citizens. Tough. Like what happened during the months of shame. Gilliman, the Lord Regent of the Imperium, is a good guy. No, he's not. Google actually used Gilliman's strong morality against him, creating a plague that could only be cured by Gilliman's presence. All right. Causing Gilliman to fly around Ultramar and try and cure as many people as possible, keeping him on the sideline in the meantime. He has made mistakes, but he often reflects upon these and regrets. Hey, my assignment is we don't make mistakes. <laughs> like, I don't, <laughs> we don't make mistakes at all. We don't, we don't see, we don't mess up. I don't know. I don't even know what what a mistake is. I don't even know what a mistake is. I don't. I don't know what those are, and like, cause I'm a part of the Salamanders, and the Salamanders don't make no types of mistakes. Um, so he can't be. Hey, this guy. I mean, like, he he look all cool and all. It looks like they just 
just pulled him out of Warhammer heaven. But to be honest with you, we all know the Salamanders are, are legit. Number one. <laughs> he believed the Great Crusade to be necessary. However, he wishes it wasn't so brutal. He feels bad about all those innocent Xeno races that were killed just because they weren't human. However, a few we feel bad too. influential imperial figures that are indeed good is not enough to balance the countless sextillions of corrupt officials, governors, and other people. Wait, did he say sextillion? Oh my god, that's a lot of zeros. Mud. Hence, whilst the Imperium is definitely not the worst in the setting, like compared to the Dark Order and Chaos, they are literally Jesus, I will not describe them as an ethically sound institution. How about the Elder? Well, it depends what kind Man. of Elder we're talking about. The chilled out hippie dinosaur riding Elder? Yeah, not bad. The gothy rape Elder that wear way too much eyeshadow? Yeah, not great. The Crawford Elder are above a lot of the negative what? human traits which plague the Imperium. They have incredible equality and standard of living on their craft worlds. They are not conquerors or destroyers, preferring mm. to be left alone to their own devices. Mm. They have saved numerous human worlds and they continue she, to hey, battle hey, against them. Listen, they're cool and all. Like, you know, she, she's cool or whatever. But like, you know, I'm just waiting for him to like, you know, to mention, you know, my faction, you know. Of darkness. It's just a shame they're just such arrogant pricks about it. Despite committing numerous noble deeds, the craft world's intentions are always selfish. If they save a human world, it's because it will directly benefit the Eldar down the track. The Salamanders can never. They could never. Every time that they step in the way of a child getting ready to, to, to receive the full wrath of whatever's coming to the child's way, every time they step into the child's way and they take that pain, there, there, is, no, there is no hesitation. There is no patience. There is no critical thinking. They just do it just out of spite. They do it because it's the right thing to do. That's what, that's what they do. And this is why they're literally like the number one just, just good just faction. That's just, it, it, it is what it is. I don't care what you say. Oh, well, because uh, explain them burning a guy to a crisp, you know, because they, you know, they shoot out fire with their flamethrowers. Bro, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. Everybody got weapons. But guess what? You need weapons to protect your people. Likewise, if they think destroying a human world will save the life. And they do it for free. As of Elder, even only a couple, they won't hesitate to do it. It doesn't help that when the craft worlders are going to war, it's common for some of them to put on war masks, which turns them into terrifying merciless yeah, killing see, machines. Yeah, see, look, look, ugly. There are multiple instances look at them, they of the ugly. Elder massacring women and children purely because they're in the wrong place at the wrong time. So it really comes down to the question, if you perform noble and selfless deeds for others, is it still benevolent if your motives are entirely selfish? Yeah, no. I would it, say it's... yes. Actions speak louder than words, and I for one would much rather be saved by a space elf bitch who hates my guts and is only doing it so I'll be obliged to protect her later on, rather than a space elf maiden who likes me and sends me thoughts and prayers as a tyrannid warrior tears open my sphincter and eats my ass. Oh my After goodness all, gracious. The elder who oh my. And saved humanity. So there's some brownie points to be had there. The Exodites take this good guy vibe a little bit further. They are pretty much always on the defensive, never leaving their maiden worlds. They don't try to influence the galaxy like the Crawfordists do, and as far as I've seen, they're pretty chill people. Mm. The Dark Elder, on the other hand, are fucking evil assholes. They literally need to feed on the suffering of others to survive. Oh but wow! Here's the kicker: they really don't. If they were to join an Exodite or Craft World and stop raping, they can get a Spirit Stone. Hence, don't need suffering to keep them fresh and elastic. Oh or wow! If they still want to rape. They simply okay, okay, major kill. You can't be sick. Yo, name. major kill. You they gotta chill. Not just because they do evil things, but because they choose evil when they have other options. The Harlequins are probably the most morally good out of all the Eldar. Yo, they exist purely despite Slanesh and foil her plans. As her plan bro, bro, half the video's almost up. Where's my Salamanders, bro? Major kill. You don't. You major kill. You want me to? You may. You wanna? You want? You want thirty seconds outside? Where's my Salamanders, bro? If my salamanders are not in this list by the time this video ends, I'm crashing out. It's often revolve around exploiting and violating vulnerable people. That's a pretty good thing to do. I mean, there is nothing more ethically sound than killing pedophiles. The orcs are an interesting uh, case. Uh, yeah. Many argue that the orcs lack of You did not put the orcs in here. No, 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 no. After all, if you're literally hand designed to wage war and then you proceed to wage war, hell really no. No, the orcs? You put them in here? The answer is no. yes. No. The orcs might be having the most fun out of everyone, but they are not good guys in the slightest. Sure, they seek powerful opponents to fight in direct combat, which is quite honorable. However, orcs also enjoy torturing, tormenting, Facts. and slaughtering Facts. among combatants, so why they in this including list? women and children, purely for the fun of it. It's common for orcs to target undefended areas for a laugh before the big battles begin. 
This wasn't a part of their original programming. They were made to fight the Necrons, who don't have unarmed vulnerable people or undefended helpless locations. The Orcs develop these sadistic tendencies all on their own. Wow. Their sense of honor is also a bit of a myth. Freakazoids. They consider backstabbing, betrayal, and low blows to be all valid methods of war. Where is the Salamander? The reason why people see them as honorable is because often they are too stupid to come up with a strategy beyond charging at the enemy's firing line. So sorry, Orc players, your big green cockless machines are not the true <laughs> good guys of the setting. That's crazy. The Tower are an interesting bunch. On one hand, they have great standards of living. Bro, they put E.T. phone home. They put, bro, they put E.T. race in here, bro. This is, bro, this is rebunculous, bro. Where, bro, where is the Salamanders, bro? If the Salamanders are not in this video, I can't lie to you, Major Kill, I might have to come, bro, 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 I'm going to be honest with you, and this is not a threat. But I might have to come to Australia, bro, and run my 30 seconds. I'm sorry, well, it's upside down in there. So I, I might have to run my 3,000 seconds or something, bro. Because at the end of the day, th this is blasphemy, bro. Where is the salamanders, bro? A technologically progressive. They should be number one. Outside other races and actually treat them as equals. The greater good philosophy also isn't bad. Basically just means working towards collective overall good. The Tau also allow other races in their empire to continue following their own religions, as the greater good isn't a religion. However, to call them the good guys is a bit of a stretch. Firstly, they do rely on oppressive control and manipulation. Free will in the Tau Empire is limited, as the population is divided into a caste system, with the Ethereals ruling from the top. If you speak out against the Ethereals, you will be killed and have your name struck from history. There is also a group of Tau who have recently become super racist, killing all humans under their command. The Ethereals also continually block life-extending technology, so that no normal Tau can live long enough to match their own lifespans. So whilst overall the Tau Empire is a progressive and enlightened society, there is something of a sinister presence underlining it all due to the ambiguous and controlled- Yo, I'm just waiting for my team. However, the Farsight Enclaves, a small cluster of Tau worlds that have split off from the main Tau Empire, are free of all the negative Tau traits. They have dismissed the caste system, letting any Tau take a stab at what they Who want. Who the hell is this? They also don't have the control and oppression of the Ethereals, hence their level of free will is much higher. So from what I've seen in the lore, the Farsight Enclaves are genuine good guys. It's just a shame that they are a splinter faction of the smallest faction. Okay, we got three minutes left. Where's Chaos my Salamanders? fucking evil. I know some people like to say that the Chaos Gods are just manifestations of sentient species emotions, hence they are incapable of being good or evil, as they are just a reflection of our own collective psyche. I'm about to get angry. I'm about to get angry. Where's my salamanders at, yo? Uh, hey, I'm gonna be honest with you. If my salamanders are not in this video, uh, bro, I'm taking a one, bro, a first class one way ticket to Australia, bro. I'm not leaving Australia until I get Major Kill's body, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. Where is my salamanders? I'm, yo, 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 I'm not that, joking. Where's my, <laughs> where my salamanders, bro? Space aids, a manipulative little shit this is preposterous. Into cow spawn for a laugh and a slut who wants to fist everyone are not misunderstood beings. They are fucking evil. They make their own complex decisions, so they're not just these primordial jellyfish that follow the will of the people in the material realm. There isn't even morally grey chaos followers, such as Cornite warriors who are extremely honourable, sparing the weak and vulnerable and instead focusing on martial prowess, or Titsnitchian cultists who seek knowledge for the betterment of mankind. They are all evil assholes. Fabius Bile is the closest you'll get to a chaos boy who's on the fence, and that guy is fucking horrible. Chaos are bad. Very bad. Not good. The Tyranids are in a similar boat to the Orcs. Can something be evil if it's just following its basic nature? Tyranids take this a step further by not having the sadistic nature of the Orcs. Instead, they just consume indiscriminately and move on. Bro. However, I can't think of a single Apex Predator parasite who I would call a good guy. It doesn't help that the Tyranids are horrifying with weapons that Bro, they are. Bro, these guys. Bro, bro look at the teeth. Bro, bro, they are bad, bro, bro. They're Michael Jackson bad. Bro, this is ridiculous, bro. Where's the salamanders at? I'm tired of this disrespect, bro. This is mockery. This is blasphemy, bro. Well, bro, what's good? Bugs in you that eat you from the inside out. 
the hive mind is also quite malevolent, coming up with cruel and sadistic methods to achieve its goals. It also doesn't need to be a parasite to exist. If it can create biological marvels, then I'm sure it would have no issue taking a section of space, creating farmer nids, and consuming the biomatter of whatever it farms. It isn't just a shark in the ocean, following its natural course. It's more like a nuclear bomb in the ocean, doesn't need to be there, doesn't contribute anything, and just ends up ruining everyone's shit. So no, the Tyranids are not the good guys. And finally, the Necrons. The Necrons are interesting. I wouldn't call them- What do you mean by- What do you mean- What do you mean, finally? What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Wait, I'm- Whoa, wait, wait. I, I, I know I'm reading this title right. Are there any morally good factions and in... Where's the Salamanders at? What do you mean, and finally? What, 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 like, what? No, 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 no. See, my brain's not processing right now. What do you mean, finally? What, what do you- What are we- No, 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 see- See now, bro, you about to get me twisted like T. This is ridiculous. This is, bro, th this is, bro. Major Kill, bro, you are cuckoo for buku buffs. Where's my salamanders at? Baby, what do you see for? Where's my salamanders at? This, this, this is, bro, this, bro, this, bro, this level of disrespect, man, I, I just can't hold it. I just can't hold Bro, you know what, man? I can't lie to you, bro. Yo, Major Kill, whenever you sleeping, and you feel a little heat, feel a little heat through your walls, and it, it, listen, it's not that Australia heat. This, this is that 1,000 degree lava heat. When I, if you feel that heat, and you wake up and you surrounded by Minecraft lava, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know what happened. You know I have to call the boys up for this disrespect. This is bro. This is preposterous, bro. Evil person. This is preposterous. This, kind of this disrespect so is this, bro. No. Ethics and morality that they don't even consider them. They will cleanse their tomb world. Listen, sure. I would crash They're out for this type of disrespect, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll see all black, bro. They're super well known for constantly attacking and genociding other worlds. Nor are they particularly known for sadism. Some are quite chill, like Trezin, who just wants to collect Pokemon, or the Silent King, who will side with humanity to fight Tyranids. Others suck mega balls, such as the flayed ones, who will peel off your flesh and wear it as a cloak. So whilst I wouldn't call them good guys, they and you put them as number evil, one, more you just like. Pure asshole. You so put him as the number good, one. The goodest good guys are the Farsight Enclaves. What? Then it goes to what? Harlequins, Exodites, Tau Empire, what? Craft Welders, Imperium, Necrons, Orcs, Tyranids, Dark Elder, and then Chaos. Get the hell. Get the hell out of here. Get out of here, bro. Get, no, 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 no. See, see. This type of disrespect will never be handled. I'm going to be honest. Yo, Salamanders, bro, just give me the call. I'll crash out right now, bro. Yo, Salamanders, give me the call right now and I'll crash out. Bro, bro, I'll take a one-way ticket plane in Australia right now and I won't rest until I find you, Major Kill. I'm going to be honest with you. This is preposterous. And you, and you, see, 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 this, this is how I know he was on. This is how I know he's faking it right now. He, he's just playing for the camera. Major Kill, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, 11. Oh, that's what we're doing now? So you can't, so you just... What happened? What happened? You, you had too many. You had too many drinks last night. Where's the salamanders? They should be number numero uno, bro. Number one. Uh, da, twa, uh. They should be number. They should be uh number uh. Okay, bro. They should be uno, number one. Bro, oh my god, bro. I'm getting off this video, man. Hopefully, you guys subscribe to the channel, man. Like the video. Shout out to Major Kill for the video, man. Um, this is. But listen, I, I, listen. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. This is how you know I'm too I, I'm too deep in, bro. I'm in too deep. I wasn't even supposed to be like, bro. I was not supposed to be getting too deep whenever it came to down to uh to you know to the Warhammer lore and whatever, bro. I'm in too deep now. See, see now any salamander disrespect will now, bro. I'm, I'm hold, bro. I'm aiming for the head, bro. Bro, I'm holding you up like this, bro. Like I'm holding you up against the wall like this, bro. Give me all your money. I'm gonna be honest with you. If I ever see anybody disrespect the salamanders, bro, it's up for everybody, bro, bro, bro. Yo, t in the comments, the Salamander Squad, unite right now. The disrespect will never be, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I'm a little heated now. I'm a little, hey, yo, in real life, I'm a little heated. Cause where's my, where's my clan at? Where, where's my, where's my faction at? It's okay though. See so you guys, I'm Peace out.